I'm founding designer here at Reset. Reset is a developer tool, and we are trying to solve the problem of emails. We sell like a Ethereum product, not like a physical product. Having this 3D asset is telling this idea of like, this is a real product. Spline, it was like a sweet spot that we found, mainly because we could embed nice 3Ds on the website. That's what likes the game changer for us. This cube is with us since the beginning, and you can interact with the cube, that is super cool. The cube of course is so famous because of recent. A lot of people commenting about the cube and Twitter, commenting for us about the cube, definitely had a lot of social attention. And the nice part is that with the evolution of the landing page, they have different versions from like cube that was more plastic, and now that's it's like different materials that combine with our new identity. The same spine file, just getting like some update, and that's super nice. We didn't create the cube physically. People recognize us about the cube that we did a swag that is real, a black cube. Somehow, can I say that starting spline <laughs> in the hands of the users? Spline allows us to be very interactive, allows this like runtime interactive moment. We did the same with this one as well. So if you hit D or X in your keyboard, the kids will react to that. Small details, but people noticed that and we got some comment on the Twitter and people mentioned that. It is very impressive in a way that our customers go to the landing page and see something that is super cool, interactive, give a feeling of premium. It was like a huge difference because first we show that we care. Second, I think uh, our public, uh, being uh, developers, they connect with this kind of stuff. These icons are explained as well, but we use the video feature uh, on this one instead of embedding. And this is very nice as well, like spline export in video. It's super cool because then we can use in other places, other materials, and even like more optimized way on the website sometimes. Beyond like being more simple too for creating like 3D in a way simple without like the capabilities but in understanding 3D. When you are a designer that works with 2D because it's a different vocabulary. You need to understand materials, camera, a light and I think Spline helps a lot on this journey. With like this user-friendly interface, it's a nice to use. What happens a lot before we had someone to design on Spline, give us the editing file and a designer that never touched 3D before could do some tweaks there to find the perfect light, the perfect color, and then a finish we kind of like cross this bridge. It's a time saver, like a um, good use of resources. We can focus on product. And yeah. it's so easy in a way that you integrate in the website. That was like super special because we are like the spline object, all the work, all the craft, and then we can use the React library to integrate. We don't need like to code the 3GS from scratch. That would be like way, way harder to do it. We can even hire a contractor to work with Spline or the designer of the team could work on Spline. It's parallel work. Kind of like we can think of the website. We know that will be an object here. We already like planning this on the composition and we can work on the object like in parallel. It's super nice for this as well. Not only on the integration part on this, like how you parallel and you can speed up the times. You're kind of like thinking about how can we integrate Spline here? What we can do? We have like this launch weeks as well. We launch the light mode. That's why we choose like this. We choose an object to illustrate what we are trying to do or communicate. We are double down this materiality idea for the visuals of the company, since it's like helping us visualize this product that is sometimes abstract or ethereal. 3D is like very important part. So we're gonna keep doing it and keep involved.